going on guys it's your boy kingdom athletics coming at you guys live from this video i hope everything is good for you guys on the other side of the world i'm making this video uh to glorify god today you know just praise the king of all kings and the lord and savior jesus christ yeshua hamashiach without the lord and savior without jesus christ i would not be able to make this video i wouldn't have my iphone i wouldn't have anything so i just want to take this time right now just to glorify god I had a really great conversation with somebody who I see as a mentor, uh, a friend, um, and just somebody that I can I gain so much wisdom from. And we were having a conversation, and this person is such a motivation, you know, in terms of so many things in my life. And we had this conversation about lust the other day, and I wanted to talk about it because I was I was just reminiscing on how it's the biggest stumbling block for young men in this generation. You know, I've been I've been a Christian for so many years in my life, but recently over I've just taken my my walk with Christ so seriously because I've I've been so lukewarm, right? Lukewarm means very half ass. Excuse me for swearing. I've been very kind of like half foot in, half foot out. I was smoking weed, I was watching the websites, you know, I was living this, you know, enjoying the things of this world and I wasn't really being serious with my commitment. But you see, as I'm becoming very serious and so many friends in my life are being cut out from my life, um, I'm, I wanna help brothers out with that walk on lust and why it's so important. You see, you don't realize this, but God gave you a design for you, you know your, your looks, attraction and love. And the way that Satan comes into, into life, he manipulates right he manipulates you and makes you think and contorts your desires so that the only way that you can find liberation and you can find um you can find happiness or you know freedom in a moment is to satisfy yourself by watching people having intercourse online for money and i've i'm not going to sit here and, and and claim like i'm holier than now cuz man i used to watch these websites but man le recently it's been eating me alive just even thinking about the concept of pornography and you know weed smoke and so many things i feel like i feel like recently god's been just convicting me of everything you know foul mouth uh laziness and i'm i'm going through this battle and i'm getting close to the age when my father passed away right um and i just think about my own life because i'm i'm pretty close to being the same age he was when he passed away you know i'm getting closer to it every year and the moral of the story, guys, is this. The prayer and the focus that I have for you guys is this. We got to pray and believe that God will give us a lifestyle and blessings and efforts so that we use every minute and time to either glorify the kingdom of God, get better mentally, physically, or spiritually. This is why I made my role model series because they made a video talking about how there's... You know, not just a video, but these people are a personification of building something from nothing and building a lifestyle where they don't have to worry about temptations no more because their lifestyle is something that glorifies God. And that's something that I try to incorporate into my own life. You know, I'm not anything great. I'm actually nothing compared to everybody else. There's, uh, there's another YouTuber that I know who lives across the street from me who's a lot more funnier than me. Um, and his videos are better. Um, and he has one eye right so it's like it goes to show you like i i don't have a lot of I, i'm not that great but the the main difference is we all have a different message you know my message isn't the comedy route my message is more i talk about real stuff you know and that doesn't make me better than that person at all i think like i said he's far more talented than me as an entertainer I, this is part of the reason why i stopped making videos and i will stop but this battle of lust i really hope that we all find answers for it and I want to let you guys know why I named my, my whole ministry and my, my work ethics and everything Kingdom Athletics on YouTube. I believe that we all come from the kingdom, right? We come from the kingdom of God. And when we come down here, we forget that when we come to earth because we get so, you know, delusioned into so many things. But we're all athletes in God's kingdom. And my whole thing is as we train and become more powerful and stronger, that we start to realize that we are athletes from the kingdom of God right and the real coach is god right and we're just athletes playing our roles you know and all of us are all stars some of us are role players it, we're all playing roles and without each other we don't the team doesn't function as great but we're all called 
you know, and that's the reason why I called my, my whole ministry and my YouTube channel, Kingdoms and Athletics. We all have a role. We all have a role. You know, we all are part of the kingdom, you know. So um, as I fulfill my dreams in Christ, I want y'all to know that I'm nothing without God and that God is so much greater than my YouTube channel or my ministry or anything that I do or anything that I've ever done or anything that I'll ever do. <laughs> I'm just a part of that. I'm just a part of his story, his salvation and the, and the works that he did in crucifying a God, crucif you know, letting his son be crucified, innocent man, so that I could be redeemed of my sins, you know, because without him, I'd be nothing, right? Because without him, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I made so many mistakes, right? Um, but God has, has saved me every single time. And I talked to you guys about the grace of God, how I've been fired from so many jobs, but God will always give me a new opportunity. That isn't my skill. I keep trying to tell people, like, it's not me doing that. I prayed prayers and prayers were answered. And there's certain prayers that haven't been answered. And it's it's stupid to say that because some people pay prayers and it never comes true. But the times that things do come good for me, it's like I can never take credit for that. Because God, man, my health, everything. It's just glory to God. So we never know how long we have left on this earth because time is very short. But while I'm here, I want to let y'all know that, you know, God deserves all the praise. Not the weed, not the girls, not the liquor, not anything. God deserves all the praise. And we're all fighting a battle, you know, and I hope you win it in Christ Jesus' name. And whatever you go through, do you find answers. With that being said, y'all, I'm out.